Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. So here we are, right outside of the next area. I wanted to go over a few things. So I actually completed a bunch of quests. I filled out all of the affinity chart as much as I can in Colony 9 right now. Like, look at this. This is insane. This is every NPC that you has a name that you can do quests for. I've completed pretty much every quest I can at this point. Um, there's a certain ones that I can't because one of them involves a unique monster. I've reached level 20. And I'm really over leveled right now. So I'm going to have to actually activate the awesome, awesome addition to this version of the game. The expert mode. So when you go into the menu, you just toggle on with the right stick. And you can decrease your level. And it will put it in like a, an experience pool. And that way you can level up whenever you want. And this is like from fighting enemies, from doing quests, all that type of stuff. So I'm actually going to lower everybody, or Ryan and Shulk's levels to level 15, because that's about what I think the enemies' levels are in the next area. Now, as long as that's active, it'll just pool into that experience in the expert menu, and then I can level up on them whenever I want. Now, I'm very, very, very excited about this next area of the game. As you guys know, I have said it is my favorite part of the entire game. The entire area is just amazing. Um, I haven't talked much about the music in the game, but I want to let the music play for this section for a bit. Just so you guys can just get it all out, you know, just hear the amazing adventure we're about to go on. And of course we do have some quests we'll have to accept as well. I think these are just like fighting enemies pretty much. Yeah, like these are the monster quest ones that we have to do as usual. But I want to accept these for the extra cash because um, even though we got like the the bonus from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I actually want to gather more to buy all the arts manuals so I can actually level up. Oh, wow, he's got a lot. Okay. Now, I don't know if... I should probably check the inventory. Um... Yes here and see if there's anything doesn't look like we have much oh we do have prairie attire for shulk that's actually better um but i think you can actually get this stuff from enemies or quests so i'm not gonna waste my money on it besides we are technically over leveled if we <laughs> if we have any uh say about it oh 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 there it is Oh my god. Oh, the music. It is the Bionis' leg. The ever amazing Gar Plains. Like, look at this. Oh, Shulk, look over there. Smoke. Maybe someone's got a fire going. Hope they're cooking up something good. It's hardly a good spot for a barbecue. Come on, let's take a look. Holy crap, this looks even better than I imagined. Even when I played this game, and I know I've said this before, even when I played this on the original Wii, there was, uh... Just when I walked into this area, I was blown away. Oh yeah, we're getting our introduction to ether type enemies. So we don't have any ether attacks, and they are very hard to fight with physical attacks. But thankfully, we'll be getting a character very soon that will be able to use ether. Oh yeah, like look at all the leg armus, and just look at this! Like, you can see the Makana sword, and just the, the mountains. Like, that is what blew me away about this section. Like, you can't go up there, but just the scope of this area. Like, you guys have no idea. It takes a really long time to reverse this entire thing. There's sections off to the left. There's sections off to the right. Like, it's just huge. And it's fucking incredible that this game was on the Wii. Like, seriously. And I just... I, I am blown away right now. Like, this fucking... This looks so much better than I ever expected on the Definitive Edition. Like, holy crap. I think you can even see further in this version of the game, too. You can see enemies walking around. Oh my god, it is just so awesome. Let's go to our next quest. 
We're gonna try to recruit this new story member as soon as possible. Someone's left a buggy out here. That's strange. Who would just abandon a buggy in this place? And it's pretty new. Is it brand new? Not brand new, but it's in very good condition. You wouldn't just abandon it. So, what did happen to the driver? It's too bad we don't get one of these to traverse this area. You have to walk literally everywhere in this game. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, but... Oh my god, look at the Ardens. Those things are just pretty much like Armus, except I, I guess they're probably male versions with like the horns and stuff. There's a boy. He's being attacked by monsters. You saw it happening? Where? I don't know. But it was near some water. Near water? But what made you have a vision all of a sudden? Maybe it was triggered by touching the buggy. Well, we'd better find him. Let's search everywhere around here where there's water. Okay. It's so convenient of Shulk just to have visions everywhere. <laughs> it's just like, all right, sure. A daughter I'm Oh, look at how little it is. Oh, it's so cute. Let's kill this stupid thing. <laughs> As I just say, it's so cute. Oh my god, wow. I did so much damage. But see, the reason I want to lower levels and stuff, and I'm so glad they included it in this game, is that because when you over-level, when you fight enemies, they actually lowers the rewards you get from them, especially in the AP and SP department. And it's so difficult when you over-level in the original game, because it's super easy to do when you're going for 100%, um, that you barely get any rewards, and it's so hard to level up your skill trees. Um, it was one of the things I never could fully complete in the game. And it... And all the arts too, like that that's like another thing that just makes it so difficult. Oh god, that's gonna Ooh, I'm bleeding. Oh shit. Yeah, I guess their horns would cause bleed. Oh, he's toppled. Okay. I need to like fight these enemies with the uh the brown labels on their names because they why is Ryan not doing enough for taking the there we go. He really needs to be taking away the uh <laughs> the aggro from me. There we go. Because, yeah, they give you, like, 10 SP and more AP when you defeat them when they're, like, kind of close to the same level as you. It's about two levels lower, I think. Oh, yeah, they've got some Black Flammies here. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, yeah, a lot of these enemies are kind of the same from what we've encountered. There's, like, a whole section up there you can go across. We're going to ignore, like, exploring a bit to progress the story because, uh... A lot of this stuff we're gonna get quests later on when we reach like a little village, and uh, well, oh the ponios, yes. Yeah, so we, we can fight some of those for a quest as well. Yeah, actually the fuel ponio. These things are so awesome. I love them. Like these are our first true new enemy of the area. Just hit it right in the butt. <laughs> okay, I should probably use this to reduce the aggro on myself. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, I meant to use uh, air slash. So I could actually, um... Oh, good, he toppled them. Perfect. Yeah, see, the enemies are still not that strong. Like, I got some pretty decent gear from doing quests and all that stuff. Oh, right, I need to talk about that thing in the background. The thing that scared the shit out of me the first time I played this game. You can just see him coming towards me. But that thing right there, that giant ape, we're gonna try and see if I can lock onto it. But look at his level. <laughs> his level 81. And I... It just walks around. And it will see you and kill you. Um, and it will sneak up on you. And you will never know it until it's too late. And it just straight up annihilated me one time. It was awful. Oh yeah, here we go. So we got the... Uh, the story quest. This is the enemies we had to fight. They're really big. Like, holy shit. I don't remember them being this big. You all right, kid? Who are you? That can wait. Go. Get out of here. Leave these guys to us. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Ready when you are. Now, this is technically a boss battle, so I'm hoping it goes okay. 
I might have like, uh, oh yeah, they're like level 14. I probably should have leveled up a bit. Um, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Maybe I should use the buster. There we go. Okay. Uh, great. Let's break them. Okay, let's try to draw the aggro away. Yes, topple them. Sweet. Let's, uh, how is that the backside? That I'm literally hitting his, his fucking side. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. There we go. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. I should probably heal Ryan just in case. Even though he's doing really well, the gear I got definitely is helping a lot. Shit. Ooh, ow, knocked me right out of the air. <laughs> okay, let's use Buster again. Should be able to kill one of them, yes. As long as one of them's dead, then we're gonna be good there. Oh, shit, I am almost dead. Holy fuck. Ryan, draw, draw the, oh yeah! Fuck, I was bleeding too, so no wonder. Heal me, Ryan. Yeah, I probably might have to increase my level a little bit. <laughs> Didn't realize that the enemies were going to be much stronger than I expected. Uh, let's see if I can get off back. Oh, I think they have spike on them when there's... um. Oh, shit, shit. I didn't mean to do that. There we go, got him. I meant to use the physical arts thing to reduce the aggro on myself. But I think when there's purple numbers going up, it means that the enemy okay. is spiked. So every time now? they hit you, Great. it actually you causes damage skin. to them. And enemies can do my that to you as well. It's really annoying. Especially later on in the game. Well, thanks. I fixed the circuit, but it's out of ether. Change the cylinder and it will be as good as new. I think it's time for the introductions. I'm Ryan. He's Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hi. I'm Juju. Um, where are you two heading? If you've got time, you should come back to our camp. Your camp? Yeah, it's not far. How about it? Let's take him up on the offer. I'm surprised there's a Homs camp here, but they might have some information. I suppose. Juju, can you tell us how to get there? Sure. If you go back to the oasis, you should see a tall stone post. Head there first. Then what? There's a small path in the woods next to the stone post. Just follow it down to our camp. Got it. Yeah, behind all the now, trees, of course. Move. Well, yeah, so far so good. Alrighty. There we go. Garplane. Yeah, so I love the, the sky at night, too. It's just so cool. And the music changes too, like listen to it. Like it's kind of a slower version of it. It's really cool. Ooh, the leg volts. Gotta be careful around these because I don't want to actually aggravate the, uh, the big old monkey there. It's scary. It was straight up annihilate me. In a matter of sec, well, in like one second, basically. Oh, good. I just have to kill three of them. That's not bad. Fleecy fur. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to fight some enemies here for some extra goodies. Damn it! I should have probably predicted that he would have turned because Ryan hit him, <laughs> and he was off to the left of me. My skills are doing quite a bit of damage, cons uh, considering. Didn't expect that. I haven't really leveled them up very much. There we go. Yeah, see, we're getting like 10 SP from them, which is awesome. Because I really want to get the uh, the next few upgrades, especially the one for Ryan, which I need like 2,000 SP to learn, which is uh, it gives you more AP when you uh, finish battles. And that's definitely going to help a lot in the long run. Especially if we can just use expert mode to our advantage and, like, fight a bunch of strong enemies. Oh, yeah, we gotta collect all this stuff, too, like the spicy cabbages and all that shit. I wanna fill out the uh, Collectopedia, because all the rewards you get from those are so good. I actually had to, like, on my off time be between episodes and stuff, I was when I was completing quests and stuff, I couldn't find the White Beetle in Colony 9. It was the one collectible I needed. I actually had to look up online who to trade with just, just to get it. It was really obnoxious. <laughs> but 
but totally worth it in the long run. I didn't get anything good because I kind of had progressed too far in the game by then. Um, but yeah, it was a... Uh, ooh, look at that. That's so cool. It looks like a giant beast or something that like, got turned to stone. It has like four legs and stuff. It's so neat. The waterfalls and stuff. Oh, the sky is so pretty. Oh my god. I am like seriously blown away by this game's art direction. Like, you're like, you think Colony 9 is big, and then you walk into this area. I swear, it probably takes like at least 15 to 20 minutes just to get across this map. If you just go straight, I'm pretty sure. It could be like 10 minutes maybe at the most, but. It definitely feels like a long time, and there's so much to explore in between. And like these quests we're gonna gather in the little camp that he's sending us to is gonna have more stuff to fight and like collection stuff. And these quests are gonna be timed too, because these people will move to a different section of the game later on. Um which I believe is Colony 6. You get like this own your own village and stuff that you can uh, help rebuild by finding items and giving them money and all that. Uh, and that's a really cool section of the game too, but that's much, much later on. And uh, yeah, so we had to complete all these quests because when they move, it's like all of this stuff is going to be different and you know they won't be worried about gathering things in the Gar Plains because it's like we're long past that section of the game. I kind of want to like... I, I kind of hate watching cutscenes when they're during the night, so I'm going to transform it, or transform it, I mean, switch the time to the day. Especially because Gar Plains is like, it's, the experience is more like during the day, Juju. I find. And there she is, Sharla, our next character. She's our healer been? of the group. Juju! Ah! Oh, we got another mech on. Another face mech on. Don't tell me you were... I've told you a thousand times. We're not ready to leave the camp yet. But I thought... Juju! Sorry, Sharla. I can't get over how good the faces look in this game. Because, like, in the original you one, they were kind of like... You go force. back and look at them and you're like, Is Ugh. Six okay? Did Gado make it? Hold on, what are you talking about? We've... we've come from Colony 9. Colony 9? They saved me from some monsters. This is Ryan and Shulk. Oh, so you're not from Colony 6. Thank you for helping Juju. I'm his sister, Sharla. I told them they could rest here, with us. Did you now? Well, all right. I suppose that's only fair. Did something happen to Colony 6? Actually, we're heading there ourselves. Colony 6 has been... our home. It's been occupied by the Mekong. No. I'll tell you about it inside. Follow me. I, I love her booty shorts. <laughs> I also love her beauty mark on her... On her chin there. It's kind of cool. Charlotte is a very attractive character. I also love how they give her, like, the cleavage and stuff. But it's not, like, really Hello. tasteless. Like, if you look at Pyra and Mithra, or, like, some of the characters in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where their their tits are just huge, which I have no problem with because I am a guy, of course. But um, the design of her is, like, much simpler and just kind of nicer to look at, I think. Whereas, like, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is very anime. Okay, what does he want us to do? Oh, collect three Mothcrawlers. Okay. So we haven't found a single one yet, because we haven't really explored too much. I'm going to accept some right. of these quests. Oh, yeah, Ernest. I remember this guy. There's an everlasting ether de deposit not from far from here. Oh, yeah. I think that's the giant one near, like, the, the bridged area. Location's a secret, but it's your lucky day. I'm going to tell you. You are sure not having a laugh with us? Because I ain't buying it. Sounds too good to be true. You don't have to believe me. Ain't no skin off my back. It's you who'll be losing out. Suppose it can't hurt to go take a look, but I smell a rat. 
So what's it going to be? You're going or not? Just make your minds up. Oh, we got a lime bangle for that. 300 experience. Jesus. I think that's the one. I'm not really sure. Go to the camp. Go along the cliff on the right and then in the cave. Oh, it is the one in the cave. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of a different one. That's true. I think that one isn't completely endless, but it restores faster than most of them in the game. Who's this? Hello. Oh, he looked like he was going to be working out there for a sec. For a second. Place with fireflies. Uh, get rid of the monsters. Oh, okay. Some more antals. Okay, he just has that. Not too many uh, monster clearing quests, except for the one that we got before we entered. I have this big machine here, too. Kind of looks like a giant submarine or something. I mean, I'm pretty sure they used it to uh, actually get here from Colony 6 after the Mechon occupied it. I love that little buggy. Like I said, it would be so awesome to actually uh, be able to use it. Hey, Olga. We want to get all these people in the affinity chart, too, because it's much easier to find them in a, sh a smaller area at this point. Do you have a minute to talk? Do you know pa Is it Pama? The Nopon boy? He's been inconsolable ever since the day Colony 6 was attacked. You see, he lost both his parents in the attack. Oh, my God. So I want you to do something for him. He really likes reading stories, and I want to give him a book. My creative skills start and end at drawing and painting pictures. However, E1 who fled here with us as a fantastic storyteller. I was thinking of asking him to write a, the book for me, but it's not that easy for me to ask him myself. That doesn't sound good. Man, our affinity with Ryan is going up. Oh yeah, I just went up like crazy. Holy shit, we're almost at the max already. Yes, we have something to do. Or we have to do something, sorry. I just want everyone to feel better, although cheering you one up is going to be a lot more difficult. I won't lie by saying I understand what the kid's going through, but it just ain't right when a little kid is as sad as he is. I agree, Pema and everyone else. Then you're looking at the best people for the job. We of all people know what it's like to have a home demolished. Yeah, except Ryan, that their home really got demolished. Like, you have to rebuild it. Like, Colony 9 stayed relatively intact. We get cork gear for this, which actually should be pretty good. Alright, no problem, leave it to me. Okay. Unshakable Trust, right on, another achievement. I actually think before I can, like, take on more quests, I'm gonna actually get Charla as a teammate, because then that way, she will actually be able to get the affinity from accepting and completing yes. quests. I should have thought of that sooner, but whatever. Will you listen to what I have to say? Yes, we'll listen. Need a lot more story cutscenes. We had already fought off the Mechon a year ago. At the Battle of Sword Valley? It left us. Yeah, Dunban kicked some ass during that. The Colony 6 Defense Force didn't even notice the approaching Mechon. By the time the air raid siren sounded, a swarm of Mechon had blackened the sky. They ate people and burned our buildings. Me and Juju dedicated ourselves to evacuating the children and elderly. I don't know what happened next. It's just like what happened to Colony 9. They attacked your colony as well. Yes. It's good that you managed to evacuate so many. We have a Tharon, the Colonel, to thank for that. Him and Gaddo. This Gaddo? He would have been my husband by now, if not for all this. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Cheer up, you two. Uh. We can't lose hope just yet. I'm certain Gaddo and the other soldiers are alive. They're still fighting. I can feel it. Um... Hmm? You're on your way to Colony 6, right? You bet. We're up for some revenge. I bet we can even get your colony back. There you go, showing off again. If anyone can do it, it's you two. Could... Um... Uh, could you take me with you to the colony? Juju! The people here need us! How many times do I have to tell you? But you heard! The Mechon attacked Colony 9! That means a load of them have left Colony 6 already! It has to! <sighs> Even if that's true... No, especially if it's true... We cannot expose the camp to any more danger! So... 
You don't care what happens to the people in the colony. How can you be so heartless? Are you that scared of the Mechon? Oh, that looks cool. It's the Rule 34 boss. <laughs> Oi, kid. Ryan! You ought to know how Sharla feels. Watch your mouth and have some respect. I'll go and make dinner. That <laughs> Ryan just being a father figure. Like, jeez. Maybe I was too hard on him. Shulk? Ryan, you really remind me of Gaddo when you get angry. I, I do? Gaddo's taken care of us ever since we were young. I always saw him as a big brother, really. But he was more of a father to Juju. He'd call him kid whenever he told him off, just like you did. I don't think I'm ready to be someone's old man just yet. Wait, Shulk. Yeah, Ryan's only like Did 18. Again? Yeah. You had another vision. Oh no. No. He just Get went off him. anyway. Oh god. Kids, eh? I mean, he's a brave kid. But the stupid. Gone. <laughs> he's going to Colony 6 on his own. Stupid kid. We have to hurry. Something bad's gonna happen. What did you see? A deep valley. Everything's engulfed in flames. There's a black shadow. It kills Juju. Is it the Mechon with the metal face? Yeah. Where does it happen? Is it near Colony 6? I'm not sure. I think so. Let's get after him, Shulk. Hold on a second. What was all that about? Yeah, it'd be kind of weirded out. Wait, your friend has visions? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. The future? That's not possible. That's what I thought too. I still can't explain this, but that vision I had will come true unless we stop it. So you're telling me Juju's in danger? Believe it or don't believe it, that's your call. But I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for Shulk's visions. Juju. Oh, okay. I can't say I believe you. But what have I got to lose? I like the way you think. Sharla, you're... What? No, nothing. Oh. What are you doing? Let's go and find Juju. <laughs> She's also in danger. I couldn't be imagine being burdened like with that, like that like Gatto, sense of responsibility just to see the future. Argument. What am I? Some kind of Gatto substitute? <laughs> Of course you will, Shulk, because you're badass. Alrighty. So yeah, be aware of buffs and debuffs during battle. So support effects granted to party members and monsters are called buffs. Status of abnormality is called debuffs. Grant buffs to the other party members so they can fight more effectively. Try not to let the party suffer from debuff debuffs for too long. Charlotte's cure bullet cures and protects against debuffs, which is really cool. Um... Reduces physical damage, damage immunity, bleed, sleep. They don't mention spike, but that's something you can't really protect against very well. Um, unfortunately. Now, we have a skill tree for Sharla. I don't know. Yeah, so it, what sucks about this, whenever you recruit a person, it doesn't give them SP that you gained earlier on from the game. Now, Agility Up would be really good. It also reduces her cooldown of healing arts. 
It's weird that she gets a heavy equip as like the main thing because she's really not good for having heavy equipment. She's very fragile, like the most fragile character in the game as far as I remember. Boosting physical defense, increases ether, grants physical defense up at the start, increases ether when HP is at half. Oh man. I really like this one because it increases our healing abilities, but the left one is also really good, especially for the physical defense up stuff. It's like, uh, man, I don't know, but she can equip medium, um, stuff too, which is good for her. Huh. I think it does carry over all of the, uh, yeah, the SP you've gotten. So Heal Blast is one I'm going to level up a lot because it heals everybody. Or no, it restores a large amount of AP to one of them, sorry, is what I meant to say. Um, Thunderbullet is good because she really doesn't have very many attacking things. This will also be good, and Cure Bullet will be good. I don't know if... Maybe leveling up both healing arts would be good. But she will get one that will heal everybody at once. And I'm going to have to level that one up as soon as possible. Holy crap, just from fighting this short amount of enemies and exploring a little bit, we got a lot of SP. About 600 or so. Like, Jesus. I'm trying to remember what arts are good for him to level up. But, um, let's see. I want to go back to Shulk. Stream Edge, Light Heal, Shadow Eye is really good to level up because I really wanted to reduce the aggro for him. Um, okay. Enchant and Buster are also good, but they also require a lot of AP. Alright, now let's go and... Actually, let's see if we can buy anything useful, like manuals or anything. Oh, we can! Perfect! So I'm going to buy that, and that... And that, and that. Ooh, I can get one for Stream Edge, too. I just gotta make sure I look that we haven't learned them yet, because uh, sometimes you might not be able to tell. Holy crap, there's a lot of good equipment here. Still got 100,000, which isn't bad. I really don't buy equipment, though, because like most of the stuff you can just find better stuff from fighting enemies and getting really lucky with the chest, so... Okay, I need to go to the arts menu. And yes, I just want all that stuff to show up. There we go. Oh, Ooh, Arda. I don't think I can do much for her. 50 fine friends. Holy crap, I have 50 friends already? Oh, Pama. Oh, I forgot Pama was a, yop, a nopon. I want to sleep if Pama sleep. Oh, I feel so bad for the little. I think it's a girl. It might be a guy. Um, Like, losing your parents like that must be so difficult. Especially at such a young age. How's it going? Like, it causes a lot of trauma over the years. That Ernest is way too much. He constantly twists the truth. He wasn't always like this. Maybe something happened to him. Okay. So this is Ewan, the guy we need to talk to. You want me to make a picture book for Pema, and you want me to write the story for it? What makes you think I'd want to get involved in any of that? I'm not an author anymore. I'm nothing. I've decided that I'm never writing ever again. You don't give up, do you? I'll tell you what. If you want me to do this, I'll need something first. I need some Ponyo neck meat. The liquid corrected, collected from that meat makes the finest ink. That's weirdly weird. <laughs> You'll never find any though. Just go, you try, go on. Don't Just don't come crying when, when it gets in the kick in the backside. Okay, so we did fight some of those. Definitely looks like we need more. Oh, Kiroki. Oh, I love his little hat. <laughs> Aw, broke a little toy. I love his hat, it's so cute. And a heart to heart. Oh, okay, so we gotta get the second um, rank there for Sharla. Thankfully, that heart to heart doesn't go away. Oh, it's all. F oh, I thought it was foggy out for a second. What's cool about the Gar Plains is it that it actually um, has a bunch of different effects. Like, it will rain here too, and that actually brings out different enemies in the world, and some of them are required for quests. And we'll also get foggy at certain points too, which is also really neat. Many monsters, okay. Uh, get the boyfriend. So you need a bird necklace, okay. 
I wonder if that is near the Turkin thing. I'm not sure. Aw. The little mo no ponds are so cute. All of them are like so d adorable. Uh, what do you need? Oh. Oh, a trainer heart. Oh, that, okay, that is the Turkin I was looking about, or referring to. That is a unique monster. It's like in a little headquarters thing. Okay, good. I think we got those quests out of the way. I don't think there's any more quests. There's not a lot of characters around here, which is good. So it's not as bad as Colony 9, thank God. <laughs> there's so many of them. But yeah, we should definitely get that Pony and Neck Meek because uh, if actually we can show it off here quickly, um, there. if you look in the quest log, we can go to Bionis' leg, and you'll notice that there is a clock beside them, so that means that they are timed. I did do one time quest in Colony 9, um, where I had to uh, get these two people together, and I had, I had a choice to do it with uh, one character or another, and depending on who you chose, it actually changed the outcome. It was very interesting. Charlotte, do you know which way Juju went? There are quite a few ways to get there from here, but he's in a buggy, so I think he'll take Ragwell Bridge. Ragwell Bridge? It's not far. It's a really old bridge built around the time Colony 9 was founded. Okay. Let's make that our next stop. Sounds like a plan. Sharla, you stay back. Leave any monsters up to me and Shulk. <sighs> what? You think I can't pull my weight in battle? I've got field experience as a medic. If you get hurt, I can use ether to patch you up. Nice. I'm always getting roughed up. You'll be a big help. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I mean, he is the tank of the party, so... Oh, yeah, the giant bridge. You can go on all those platforms below, too, but there are some really powerful monsters in there. Come on. Who put this barrier in the way? Oh, uh, now the front suspension's all twisted up. Well, I mean, the Looks barrier like stopped you from it. driving off the bridge. All cowards. You had all this move. room, and you somehow still couldn't drive properly? I mean, I guess he is just a kid. Yay, yeah, guidepost. Alrighty. Another landmark. Oh, I love this section. So, there's going to be these giant turtle things here, level 32. I love them. They're so cool. They just all hang around down in this one area. Oh. Oh, yeah, they give you visions of quests. I forgot about that. The third moth crawler. Right, so it's a little tutorial. So we are already accepted um, the, the moth crawler one, but this one's for the sour gooseberry. Now, I believe we need the sour gooseberries, like four of those for the picture book because he's going to need more ink or something like that which is really cool oh god I think if I drop off that I might actually die so oh my god we're getting so much SP oh look at like, this there's so much to explore it's insane I know there's a a couple of no ponds near a campfire I don't know if it's around this area oh god Level 76 sloth goggles. I think that's their names. I think it might be close to this area. I'm not really sure. Or if it's further down. Oh my god, look at them. They're just everywhere. Holy shit, this is like their territory. Yikes. It's kind of weird that the ter territorial uh, one that was walking around isn't around there. I think he'd be protecting them, but maybe that's why he's roaming like the big open field, just to prevent people from finding their little uh, section of the map. Very possible. The hot taro. Ooh. Okay, I'm just looking around here, trying to find some stuff. There's so much to just explore everywhere. It's crazy. Oh yeah, and finding locations is also good, because I want to actually gather some AP and SP and experience and all that. I don't think... Ooh, a death bangle. That sounds fucking awesome. Some kind of equipment you find like in a Final Fantasy game. Protects against doom or something like that. 
if people have ever played Final Fantasy, that's like a spell that bosses can cast on you that counts down every second. Especially when they started doing like the ATB battle system where everything is just like constantly moving. Um, I remember it being a major thing in, uh, what was it, Final Fantasy VIII, I believe? Ooh, Winding Gear, okay. I know that this area is going to lead us to a secret area, so I'm going to follow this path. There is going to be, um, oh good, we can fight the Antals too. I know there's going to be like a big spider that crawls out of like a cavern or something, um, but I think you can avoid it, so, god, pheromones. I just love the fact that Charlotte, like, on top of being a medic, is also... She also has a gun for, like, all of her attacks. It's so badass. Whereas me and Ryan fight, uh, just hand-to-hand. -hand. There we go. Ooh, god, they're doing a lot of damage to Ryan. He's taking the brunt of it, though. Okay, good. Let's build that up. Leave Charlotte alone. Perfect. Holy shit, 30 AP from that. Holy crap. That's amazing. Okay, I didn't mean to jump off there. Might as well just gather all this stuff. I can sell this later on, too. So, And you can also use it as trade bait if you need to. Ooh, there's a lot of them up here, too. Oh, is there a... Oh, there's like a Arachno Nest, a Daksha pod. That's interesting. They probably should attack me, I would imagine. I should use Buster, especially when there's like a huge cluster of them around like this. There we go. Oh, she put him to sleep. Nice. Nice job, Sharla. Backslash really fucking annihilates the health bar of most enemies. That's why, why I want to level it up the most. Oh, good, our chain attack is actually on. I'm gonna save that for another battle, though, because this one's practically over. Oh, that didn't really do a lot. Probably should have hit it from the side. Ooh, a gold chest from a normal enemy? Holy fuck. A warrior's diadem. Oh, that's a helmet. I think that's a heavy one, though. There's a hunter gear. Okay, well, I wonder if that's... Oh, it isn't heavy. Oh, look at that. It gives him, like, a... Like a wing helmet, that's fucking sick. It actually lowers his physical defense though, that's really strange. I wonder, okay, it's better for Ryan. So I like how it's different for everybody too, like his is kind of more in the front, whereas Shulk's is in the back. Uh, oh, what does she get? Oh, dude! That looks so cool! I don't know, I want to give it to... to... Ryan though because he has he needs the most defense out of everybody uh, too bad the hunter's gear isn't better that's unfortunate oh yeah swimming oil right I got that as from a quest I did earlier today I don't think I have anything I can give her yet yeah nothing good yet I need a new weapon for her eventually uh, yeah I guess that's pretty much it alrighty that's fine the Daksha pod. I think this will... Yeah, they'll come out of it. You can destroy it, I believe, before they come out of it, but it's really difficult. Before they hatch. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Never mind. I thought it was going to be uh, some Arachnos. Oh, I should actually use this. This would be very helpful. <laughs> there we go. Topple the shit out of it. This one's like level 16, so i got to be really careful. Thunderbullet. That does more against um, flying enemies. Okay. Well, you know, made it. Oh, good. It actually went on. Yeah, right on. Wow, 4,000. Not bad. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Or no, it looked like there was a lot more. Oh, they're up there. That's why. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, completed quest. Right on. And got a lot of experience in AP and SP from that. Hell yeah. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Small insect leg. It's good to fight all these enemies, man. Like, there's so many of them around. Oh, that one is really strong. Holy shit, it's like level 18. 
I'm gonna try to avoid that. It can see me, which is the problem. Oh, I think it saw me. Oh no, the pod. Okay, yeah, the pod was it. Alright, so... I know that the shrine here, there is an item to collect near it. Like, right up there. But as soon as we go near it, like, look at this. Is it gonna come up? Yeah, is the, see this, like, fucking giant spider just comes out? It's, like, level 32. Holy fuck. So, yeah, it won't let you get to it, unfortunately. Because as soon as you start a battle, it won't let you collect anything, unfortunately. You kind of have to, like, lure it away and try to run and grab it as soon as possible. But this was the, uh, the cave I was looking for. This secret area, when you find these, they give you a lot of good rewards. Oh, man. Um, shit. I think the bats won't attack me. I just have to be careful of that thing. <laughs> oh, God. I need to grab this item for a quest, too. There we go. Twisted gun. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's for Cheryl's quest. Her son really adventured around a lot. Jesus Christ. Oh, a nice view, too. Yeah, secret area. Like, 200 experience for that quest, and then 600 experience for finding it. 64 SP. Like, that's insane. There's not very many of the secret areas, unfortunately, but when you find them, they are totally worth it. Woohoo! Splash. Oh, good, we found a new location. I think there is a unique monster around here, too. Ooh, mat ice. Oh, yeah, that was the ether deposit I was thinking about. Like, look at it just glow in the water and stuff. It's huge. You, I think it has, like, three different places you can draw from it. Oh, wow, we got some flammies here, too. Holy shit. This is insane. I could swear there is a unique monster here, but I, oh yeah, it only shows up when it's raining. That's right. I couldn't remember. Um, and I know that when it starts raining, the uh, ether clouds will come out too. Now, Charlotte is pretty decent against them, but we get a team member, team member later on that actually, she like her main focus is ether, and she has like different elements and stuff, and it's really useful against specific bosses or specific enemies to take them out with her because she is much more capable than Sharla with ether attacks and Ryan and Shulker just completely useless with them because they they don't have any arts that actually as far as I know deal any type of ether damage so because these ether enemies are protected so well like all of your attacks do so little to them it's almost pointless even trying to fight them with physical attacks Unless you're way over level, and even that still takes a long time. The reason I'm going down here is because I know there there's a little cave that I can f explore. I could be fighting more enemies if I want for extra stuff, but... Uh... Oh, hey, it's raining now! Hell yeah! And you can see, like, the thunder and all that shit. I might actually try going back, because rain does not happen very often. Yeah, see, there they are. The nebulas and stuff. It's always hard to get it to rain sometimes, so I'm gonna try and go back and fight that unique monster. I probably will use expert mode to level myself up a bit more, because I doubt I could probably take it on. But yes, it might be this cave that he was referring to, or it might be a different one. Ooh, a red durian. That sounds disgusting. I've never had a durian before, but I assume that they are not very good. I've heard pretty weird things about them, like the smell of them is just super terrible, and uh, they taste like very bland. Like I, I've heard people say they don't really taste like anything. Could be wrong about that too, but never personally tried them. I've always found like the exterior of them is just really strange. How oh, they just look so pointy. Oh, wow. I saw like the after image of that lightning bolt hitting down. That was cool. Or that, yeah, holy crap, that's so neat. I'm so glad that you guys got to see this because, like, it's just really random when all this stuff happens. 
I wanted to make sure, like, I wasn't just talking on my ass, being like, oh yeah, there's different weather effects and all that stuff, and you guys never see it at all. Although we will be coming back here to Gar Plains. There is a lot of post-game stuff, or like, stuff near the end of the game where you have to come back and do more quests and fight all these cool-ass monsters. Like, we'll be able to fight that ter territorial rot bird, I think his name is. That giant monkey thing when we reach, like, level 80. To get the, you, you know, the affinity coin from it. We gotta fight all the unique monsters to get their affinity coins. I know there was a couple in, um... Oh, there it is. White Eduardo. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna use uh, expert mode to level up everybody. Can I go to level 21? Oh, yes, I can. Sweet. Alrighty. Pull it all together. I think she can only... Okay, well, level 17 is not bad for her. I just want to do this to get rid of him. Alright, let's fucking destroy him. Ah, <laughs> I don't know if there's a quest associated with him at all. I think it's just... Um, for the sake of completion, I want to fight him. Especially when I have that app available at all times. I was looking at quests and stuff. Um, trying to find if I missed anything in Colony 9. Because I missed a few NPCs too that really don't have any quests, but they add to like full completion of the game, so... Buster. Yeah, I don't think I would have been able to take this thing on otherwise. Would have been doing a lot more damage. He was smashing. Oh, God. Wow, 500 damage and he still blocked that. That's crazy. Let's hit him from behind. There we go. Maybe we'll be able to finish him off with a chain attack. Smash. Oh, he's focused on me now. Well, I'm going to use this. Hopefully get rid of the aggro. Yeah, perfect. Oh, good. I can finish him off with a chain attack. All right, let's do it. Well, unless this doesn't kill him, which is very possible as well. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Critical hit, too. Oh, she got a new ability. Metal break. Oh, yeah, it's probably because I leveled her up, right? Good. Continue it on. Aw, oh, I was really hoping I would be able to continue it. Well, this chain attack is going to do a lot of damage, so... That's not what I meant to do. Shit. Or this backslash is what I meant to say. Oh wow, Charlotte got 295 experience from that. Holy crap. I got an achievement. That's interesting. Blessed Brigadine. Ooh, a Jaguar Lancer. Okay. I wonder. I guess she could probably. Yeah. I, I guess I could level up my backslash again. Haha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to do even more damage now. Holy crap. Wild Down is useful. I'm going to keep leveling up Wild Down because him toppling, the more I the more I level it up, the lower his, uh, or the higher his cooldown is going to be, so it'll take less time to keep toppling things. Because there's a thing in this game called Topple Lock that you can use, um, which is very, very effective against enemies. You can just keep them in a constant state of uh, Topple Lock so they won't be able to move. Okay, what did we get? Oh, yeah, the Brigadine. Holy crap! That increases it by so much. He looks fucking cool like that, too. Holy shit. It's always a struggle, though. Like, do I give it to Ryan? Because he has, like... Oh, whoa, his Charlotte. Wow, damn. <laughs> Showing off a little uh, midriff there. So is Ryan, though, I guess, too. It doesn't change the way he looks, though. That's really strange. Recovery up. Huh. I think that... I think that is uh, something that makes it when he heals, he gets healed for more. You know what? Let's just give all the good shit to Ryan, because why not? He is the guy that I need to rely on the most for defense. Although, unfortunately, uh, he will... You know, he needs all that agility, too, and that actually increases the weight of his equipment. Uh, so yeah, that's not good either, but at least it's only plus one and not like a huge amount Okay, well, we're still getting a fair amount of Ooh, Oh, yeah, I forgot to check if the Jaguar Lancer was better for him. That's right Sonic Lancer so these like 
Whoa, that is cool looking. Holy crap. Uh, so, like, you can see that it increases the the min and max auto attack. And this one has three slots. Holy shit. But it lowers his defense by so much. Like, I don't want to balance that out. Like, I want something that increases everything, you know? Um, and with him, like, it's... Like, the auto attack damage is good. But really, like, survivability is the most important thing, I think. And, like, his arts are good enough to do damage, so I'm not really too worried about it. Now, I was afraid I'd be really overleveled, but I think I can keep it where I'm at right now with expert mode on. And, you know, just adjust it accordingly. Um, because the enemies are still giving me, like, fairly decent rewards, depending on where I find them. Like, these Aqua Nebulas like, are level 17, so they probably have a decent amount of stuff they could give me. Oh, I want to go to this Ether Deposit, too. Gold Dust Illusion. Holy shit. I just don't want to fight them. I know you have to fight Ether-based monsters in this game to get an achievement. You have to defeat a lot of them, which is really going to suck. It's going to be tedious. Yeah, it has three places you can draw from it. We don't have Wind Crystals, but I believe Wind Crystals are good for Agility Crystals. Or Agility Gems. Even when it's completely depleted for the time being, it still looks pretty. It's just not as shiny, but I still like it. Um, but yeah, like, the Agility Up ones would be really useful. I just tend to, like, jam a whole bunch on the characters just to avoid a lot of damage. Oh, cool! You can see, like, the mech on! Oh, that was sick! I'm so glad I got that before it stopped raining, but you can see its eyes just all lit up, and then the lightning flash, and you can see the outline of it. Oh, that was so cool. Like, right before it stopped raining. Oh, man. It's just so cool. Oh, it's daytime already. Oh, good. Oh, the lay garden. Oh, man. It's pretty weak now, unfortunately. Well, might as well fight it. Need to complete it for the quest, so... I mean, it would be good for Sharla, because she is a pretty decent level. It's, it would probably be about the brown for her, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Completed that. Perfect. Oh, the daughter is still attacking. Oh, yeah. Trying to protect the daddy. Kicked its ass. And then there's the mother, probably. I feel bad. I'm just slaughtering an entire family. Jeez. At least it's just a video game. I would never do this shit in real life. Oh, wow. We still have 5 SP from that. That's not bad. Ooh, another warrior's diadem. Oh, sweet. I can give this to, uh... Shulk. Or actually, no, I guess... Charla was the one I wanted to give it to. Because it actually increases her defense. And ether defense. Where Shulk, it lowers stuff. I don't want to do that. And it also gives her sleep resist, which is pretty useful. I don't know if there's many enemies that can cause you to go to sleep in this game. Oh, I can see a mech on over there that's flying around. We need to go to the Regal Bridge, but uh, we're actually going to head back. I'm going to try to find the... Uh... Ooh! Never mind, we're going to fight him. <laughs> Another unique monster. Look at the size of that fucking thing. Holy shit! It's a beast! It missed me entirely, somehow. Probably because I'm such a high level compared to it. Holy crap. I really need to get behind it, but it's just like... It's just sitting there. Good. It has a it has a hard shell, so it's actually... You have to use Slit Edge with Shulk to actually be able to deal a decent amount of damage for it. It's a good thing that Slit Edge gives you quite... Or recharges quite fast with the cooldown. Oh, ferocious gore. Is this going to hit me? Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, shit, that did a lot of damage. God damn. I'm dazed. Oh, no. <laughs> I think Charlie actually got me, though. All right. Oh, we can use a chain attack. Perfect. I'm going to use that. I should probably try and topple it. All right, topple the shit out of it, Ryan. Hell, yeah. And use Metal Blast, I guess, even though it's not really going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, backslash. Fuck yeah. 
that decisive battle going on in the background. I think that's the name of the song. Let's go with defense again. Slow it down some more. Get it. Now it's broke. Oh, shit. It's coming for me. Reduce the aggro. <laughs> oh, God. Beast Rampage. I'm just going to move out of its way. Or, no, it's going for Ryan now. Almost got it. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to charge, but I think this just powers it up when it's near death. Oh my god, the size of that fucking thing. That was crazy. Oh, a phalanx. A ratio glyph. Oh, I think those are... The ratio glyphs are good for trading later on. It's like a little uh, sparkle there that tells you it's a rare item. I wonder if the steady arms would be good for Ryan. Unless they're like... Oh yeah, they are heavy equipment. Okay, never mind. Now, I wonder how good the phalanx is. Oh... Oh, man, it doesn't lower it too much. It looks fucking cool as hell, though. Kind of looks like it's a computer, almost. Definitely made of mecha on parts. Or something. Ooh, we got leader revolts again. I think there's a unique monster. Holy shit, the size of this thing. Holy crap. It's taller than Shulk. It's creepy-ass face. It's just like, e, I'm gonna eat you. Look at the bugs, too. They're just giant. Oh, my God. I know there's, there's a section off somewhere. I think there's a quest for it, too. When we progress a little further down the story. I think when we save Juju, um, that you have to fight, like, a, a pack of them in, like, a little den. So, yeah, I just gotta go find the Turkin section, I believe. Ooh, another Sour Goose Bear. We're gonna need that. I might as well fight this thing for the extra experience and stuff. I believe it's off, like, further that way. There's, like, a little cave that's kind of hard to see. Right on. Okay, I'm gonna go behind it. Nice, using War Swing. That's good. Smash. Oh, wow, that did not a lot of damage. Usually Sword Drive is his most powerful attack, but I guess I haven't leveled it up too much. Okay, hit that thing. Ooh, wow, that did quite a bit. Ooh, good, this might actually have more equipment. Ooh, Hunter's Gauntlets. Oh, those might actually be very, very good. They are probably better for Ryan. Yes, they are. Okay. Actually lowers his weight, too, so there we go. Kind of balances out the armor I equipped for him. Now, I believe the Turkin cave... Yeah, there it is. I can see it off in the distance. I was going to say, it's beyond that oasis where we saved Juju the first time. I thought that rock was an enemy for a second. Just kind of the color of it. I guess I'll have to get some Ponyo meat, too. Unfortunately, it is a rare item. Ooh, wow. That one's a beast there. It looks like he has a bunch of kids. They, they fucked the shit out of each other. <laughs> He's like, I'm level 77 Magnum Dong. <laughs> Not a Magnus Arden, but a Magnum Dong. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I tried to turn around as soon as I saw him coming. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. 17,000 damage. Okay. Run, run, run. I need to avoid them. Okay. It's going to chase after me a bit. I'm just gonna run away, try to go around it. It's very slowly following me. I just need to get to this fucking turkey cave. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. <laughs> I turned around, he was like right there coming towards me. I was like, oh! And then of course I couldn't move because Sharla got in my way or Ryan did. Just blocked me. Little shitheads. I love how those Turkins are supposed to be guarding the place, but since I'm such a high level, they don't do anything. <laughs> this one, too. He's just running around. Yeah, there we go. The Turkin headquarters. Hell yeah. I think there's an item around here. There should be one here, but maybe it's part of another quest. Or if it's further off to the right over here. I might be coming here too early, but I can always come back on my off time. Oh, it's so pretty. The skybox in this game is amazing, too. It really holds up very well. Yeah, might as well fight some javelin turkins. These guys will come into the battle 
with the, the leader if I'm not careful, so it's best to get rid of them now before things get worse. Oh, I should probably use Buster. I was going to say, Shulk doesn't really have a lot of things that hit multiple enemies, but Buster is the main thing. And it does a, oh, quite a bit of damage even against normal enemies, even if they aren't mech on, surprisingly. Holy shit. He still gives us like 10 SP for beating him too, holy crap. Oh, I'm binded, oh shit. I forgot they could bind you. Okay, I need to go up to him, because he's the one I'm locked onto. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck enemy I was locked onto. God, Ryan has so much HP compared to everybody else. <laughs> Probably because of his skill tree and also his equipment. And the gems I think I gave him. We'll save this uh, chain attack for the unique monster. Because I think he's like level 17. Wow, another warrior's, warrior's diadem and another phalanx. Not really getting a lot of good stuff for Shulk for equipment. Ooh, a Turk and Tail Feather. That's pretty good. Hoarding Treasure. Wow, 500 experience for that. Yeah, all these guys will join in too, so I'm actually going to get rid of them right now to deal with this. I like how you initiate battle with them and they just all suddenly start attacking you. God damn. I love the look of them though, like their armor and stuff. For some reason, they kind of remind me a little bit of the Chozo from Metroid. Nice, got rid of them. Yeah, like, Charlotte's getting a lot of... Since she's only level 17, getting a lot of benefits from this. Which is really cool. She definitely needs it more than the other two. That's for sure. Turkin Crest. Oh, I think those are pretty useful as well for trading. Uh, Slit Edge, yeah. Oh, good. Four of them joined in. Perfect. And I know there's two behind him as well, but at least these guys are so weak that it won't matter. As long as they don't attack Sharla, that's all. Because she's going to have to deal with uh, yeah, the brunt of it, pretty much. She's not as strong as the other two. Perfect. Yeah, even my normal attacks are just shredding through their health. Oh god, nice. He moved like right into my backslash too. I was not expecting that. Perfect. Yeah, we're still getting 5 SP, which I'm really happy for. Ooh, another Blessed Brig Brigadine too. I think that might be better. Yes, it's much better for Shulk. For Charlotte, it lowers her ether defense a lot though. That's really strange. I mean, I'm going to give it to Shulk though, because it increases like everything for him. And let's get rid of these two guys as well, just for the sake of it. Just so it makes the battle go more smoothly with the unique monster. Perfect. This one just completely ignored that battle. He's like, oh, my friend's getting attacked. Oh, well, whatever. Holy shit. <laughs> I forgot when you start a battle with Backslash, it does like a ton of damage. Okay, Vagrant. Elfeed. I can actually sneak up behind him, get a good backslash off. There we go. All right, let's switch to these guys and get rid of them first. Perfect. I'm actually going to use my chain attack right away, because then I can just build it up some more. Awesome. All right, and middle. Okay, that doesn't do much, but that's fine. Yes, I know. Okay, I was like, is it going to end? What? That was really weird. <laughs> Just stayed on Sharla for a second. So what's interesting about Sharla is that um, if I was to use her, she has an ability, kind of like how Shulk has Monado, like the Monado arts, and Ryan has like his own special talent art. Um, she has something called Cool Off, which there is a skill... Uh, in her skill tree that lower or like reduces it by 50% but every time she uses arts it builds up and then she has to cool off her gun because it overheats it can, it's kind of like a trade-off so she can't just keep healing and healing and healing you know it would kind of be busted if she could do it that way okay well I'm gonna get you to not look at me there we go 
just so I can get that backslash off. Slow him down. This huge chicken. <laughs> oh, good. I can actually use another one. Perfect. I'm going to do that. And then topple his ass. I just wish Charlotte had better abilities. Oh, good. We have heal around. There we go. That was the ability I was thinking about. All right. Good. You slid edge on him, too. 4,000 is not bad. Alrighty. And, uh, okay. I don't. I still don't have enough backslash. Yay! Quest completed, too. Wow, 4,800 for that. Holy shit. Wow, Charlotte got a lot of stuff from that. Another Blessed Brigadine. Okay. They're giving us a lot of the same equipment, unfortunately. Juicy Broccoli. Oh my god, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> I don't know why it's so juicy though. Like, what what would be juicy about that? Like, ew. I guess when you steam it, maybe. But when you just find it on the ground, it's like, I don't know about that. One of these birds could have shit on it or something. And that's what made it so juicy. All right, well, guys, I think we're gonna end the episode here for today, because uh, yeah, we explored quite a bit of Gar Plains. There's still a lot more. In the next episode, we're definitely going to explore even further. You know where I saw those mech on past the bridge? That's where uh, we're going to have to go, even past that. And there's still a whole other section of Gar Plains we haven't even visited yet. Um, on my off time, I'm probably going to fight some enemies, get some quests completed, all that type of stuff. Just to leave that, all that stuff out. We're going to... Most of this playthrough, like, as... It's going to be a completionist playthrough, but I want to cut out, like, all the fat of the game. Just to give you guys the story more than anything. And, uh, yeah, because the story is really amazing in this game. But I also kind of want to, like, show off the areas as much as I can. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode in this exploration of Gar Plains. There's still going to be a lot more exploring in the next one. But I hope to see you guys there. And let me know what you guys are thinking of the playthrough if you made it this far into the video. And please hit like and subscribe because I'm close to 1,000 subscribers. Got a lot of stuff planned with Michael and I when we reach that goal. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.